Hey, it's Peter. What's up, my yum-yums? Welcome back to my channel. So if you guys haven't seen my last video, I actually meal prepped for the first time. And today, I actually wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on each meal. So today, that's what I'm gonna be doing for this Mukbang Monday. So it's bright and early, and I guess why not start with a little energy. So starting off my day, this is actually not part of my meal plan, but I'm gonna be drinking Athletic Greens. Uh, I mentioned this a little bit in the last video. I found this from a YouTuber named Joe. Um, basically, it is a daily greens intake, and I basically drink this in the morning to give me some energy because it has like a little bit of an energy factor. You guys can find more at the website, but yeah, let's just start with that. Cheers. So that is Athletic Greens. This is what typically starts my day off. Before I go and make breakfast, I'm actually gonna be working a little bit and then I shall see you guys in like one second. We got some breakfast, let's go. Ugh, this smells so good. So this is the apple pie smoothie that I prepped. It was really, really simple to make in the morning, obviously. Just put the powder, put some almond milk, put a little bit of yogurt, and then put an apple, and then it's an apple pie in a smoothie form. So cheers, let's drink up. Mm. So I don't think I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I've actually been eating my meal preps for the past couple of days. I didn't want to do it on the first day because there was a lot going on that day, but today I actually have a little bit of time with work and everything. But honestly, this right here is so yummy, so delicious. It tastes like an apple pie. I think maybe because there is obviously an apple pie, apple, apple in here. And then also the cinnamon makes it really, really yummy and delicious. I would have to rate this a 10 out of 10. I recommend you guys trying it. If you guys do, let me know. It's really easy, really simple, and it's pretty healthy. All right, breakfast is done. Now let's go to lunch. All righty, it's lunch time. Let's go, let's go, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so now it is lunchtime. It's currently 3 p.m. I have to go to the gym in an hour. So I decided why not eat a little bit before then. I think you're supposed to eat a little bit more than an hour before you go to the gym, but you know, it's me. Let's go. If you guys didn't see my meal prepping video, I'm gonna be eating, um, I have brown rice, uh, I have the tempeh with a peanut butter sauce and then a uh, spicy peanut butter sauce. And then I also have the cabbage little salad with sesame oil and whatnot. Guys, it smells, it honestly smells really good. I love, as I said in my meal prepping video, I love peanut butter. So this is honestly yummy, scrumptious, delicious. Um, I heated just this portion up. I didn't heat the cabbage up because I didn't want the salad to be like hot. So, um, but I separated it and then I just put this little thing in the microwave. Let's dig in. There we go. That's what it looks like. Mmm, yummy. As a Filipino, I love getting rice with every little bite. Even though it's a tad, it's a little bit of rice because it's not, it's a higher protein kind of meal prep. Um, I still try to savor as, as much as I can get. As many carbs as I can get with the little amount I have. Um, but yeah, cheers. That's what it looks like. Oh, I think I'm gonna also take the cabbage, cabbage, and then Mm. This is a little bit spicy because I did put the, <laughs> the chili thing. My thoughts on the tempeh, it is, you know, I think if I would have like marinated it even more or if I had more of a liquid, then it would soak up more. But my sauce, if you guys didn't see, my marinade that I made was a little bit thick. So I think going into um, making this again, I just need to make the, the sauce more liquidy. That way it soaks it all up overnight. I like the cabbage salad. It's a crunch that I really enjoy. And it pairs, honestly, it pairs really nice with the, um, the tempeh and everything. 
I also think that I could also use tofu as well as a um as a protein substitute. You know, honestly, I think tempeh is like it's it's almost the texture of like a peanut. If you've ever eaten peanuts or if you guys like peanuts, it's like that. Basically, it's like a bunch of peanuts together. But I do know it is actually so that way you guys are aware it is made with soy. So um, that's just a general note about um, the tempeh. But yeah, it, it has the texture and consistency of like little peanuts together. So that's why I think you need to marinate it for a longer time. And that's why I think the next time I make this, it's gonna be um, hopefully um, soaked up a little bit better. I <laughs> drew a little bit, but you hear that coming? Ooh, also, this is not part of my meal prep as well, but I usually drink this La Colombe Coffee Draft Latte with oat milk. Honestly, if you guys are not the biggest fans of coffee like I am, and you just want caffeine like to get you through the day, I definitely recommend um, this brand called La Colombe. It's completely plant-based and dairy-free. They also have other types of drafts as well on the website and you guys can check them out. But honestly, like if I drink this, I usually, I'll drink my, uh, my daily athletic greens in the morning, but it gives me enough energy to like go work out. And then um, that gets me through that. And then approximately midday is whenever I would drink this. And this is honestly what keeps me going as far as work goes, because I think lately I just have been like a little bit more tired after I work out at the gym. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but like after the gym, I'm like, I'm exhausted because of how how hard I guess I'm, I'm working out, um, which I guess is a good thing. But like to get through the rest of the day, this oat milk is honestly it. It tastes so good and it's yummy, it's delicious. I definitely recommend you guys trying it. They have vanilla, they have a caramel, and they also have just a regular draft latte. But this one is yummy and delicious, and I definitely recommend you guys trying it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that was lunch. If I were to rate this lunch portion of the meal plan, I would have to say probably a seven out of 10. And that's primarily because of the tempeh. I think I just have to get more used to it. I haven't really eaten tempeh in my um, plant-based vegan life other than having that tempeh bacon. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna work out for a little bit. I'm actually gonna go get a haircut because this thing is just out of whack. And then I shall be back for dinner. So I'll see you guys um, in like one second. Bam! <laughs> Check me out! Look, I just got a haircut, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, I also worked out, so I worked out, I got a haircut, then now I'm back home. And now I know, I told you guys that I was gonna be eating dinner. But I remembered that I actually created and put together a snack pot with edamame, some green peas, some chili, and some soy sauce. So this is what it looks like. Honestly, it's it doesn't look like, I guess the most advertising thing, but it's, it's actually really bomb. So let's just eat this for you guys. I know it's, ar it's already like, what is it? It's already 7 p.m. and I should be eating dinner, but I have to eat this first. I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Da -da -da. There's the edamame and the green peas. Yes. Cheers. thing though about this is that it's a little spicy i put like a maybe like a teaspoon i think of chili so but luckily the soy sauce balances it out and honestly guys like whenever i was making it i was like i don't know if this is gonna taste good but after like the edamame and everything soaking in the soy sauce and this little cake of like spice. It's honestly really good. If you guys didn't watch the video, I mean, we were prepping. If you guys just want like a light, healthy snack, this one is it. The only thing that I regret whenever I was making this is that I actually used like regular soy sauce, but the recipe called for um, low sodium soy sauce. I thought I had some here at home, but I didn't at the time, so. I just use regular soy sauce. I mean, this is, it's fine, but 
just health wise, I should have taken the low sodium one. So now I just have to drink more water to balance it, right? Mmm, <laughs> bomb. For me, I would rate this one probably a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna eat dinner because why not? Let's heat up dinner and then let's go eat it. Bam! So we are now in my room. Um, I have the spaghetti and the meatballs with a little parsley on top. Cheers! Mm. Just what I needed to end the day off with. And sorry that my um my chubby squeaky. Here's the meatballs, the Beyond meatball that I air fried. Mm. So now the only thing about this one, obviously it's a I feel like it's a user error. I should have seasoned it a little bit more. Other than just having the pasta sauce and like pouring it in, I wanted to, to I should have added a little bit more seasoning because this one tastes a little bit bland and I've noticed it for the past couple of days. But hopefully this next round, whenever I make more food, I'll season this a little bit better, but it's still good. It's still good. Last bite. Open wide. Come on, choo 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 choo. <laughs> Final thoughts about my spaghetti and meatballs. I would have to rate it for my meal prepping and for my, honestly, for my cooking. I would probably have to rate this one a seven out of 10. I know, so sad. I feel like that was like, it should have been a little bit better, but I'll learn for next time. Okay, so that's today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mukbang throughout the day, eating my meal preps that I made last week. Well a couple of days ago, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to trying new recipes. So if you guys have any vegan or non-vegan um, recipes that way I can make into vegan, I am willing to learn. But thank you guys so much for watching. Even if you guys made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I shall see you guys very, very soon. Bye.